Welcome, this is T. This is episode 457 of the End Aid series that began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. Southern Time Productions Funding Drive, day 422. Since I be... Is it 22 or 23? Yeah, it's 23. 423. Um, since it began that January 3rd last year, and it is March 2nd, 2023 today. So, um... Yeah, it's Thursday, um, no more open mics now, so I'm going to do two open mics. That's the only time I can fit in with uh, my wife's work schedule. Cause somebody has to be home with our, with our three-year-old son So uh, at night, so so that cuts off my nights, because she works nights. So um, I have to, if I'm going to perform, I, has to, I have to be back home by 9.30 at the latest. So... Um, so these open mics sign up is at seven and they start at seven thirty. So I I can get on the first first performer first three performers generally. And uh, and so that will be my new schedule, but I talk with Alistair, my uh, financial guy advisor right now. Um, he uh, and he suggested why don't you know, I said, oh, if only I were younger, I wasn't married. Then I, I could, because uh, you're younger, because so you have more energy, right? Um, but just being younger, you generally you're not married, especially if you're a musician. Um, and so I, I'd be going out to clubs every night, looking for guitars, checking out every club, seeing, hey, that guitar sounds like it could be good with my band. Just check, and talk to him. And um, and I haven't done that yet, so that's something I need to do. And I said, like, oh, I can't do it. But I said, but, but, but. I can Friday and Saturday nights. So that's what I'm going to do starting tomorrow night. I'm going to check out a venue or two. I think I can check out... Well, I'll see. I'll see how, how it goes. I sort of can plan the evening. It will probably take a few weeks to figure out the schedule to do it. But maybe I'll get lucky and find a guitarist in the first couple of weeks. Who knows? But... um. And nothing otherwise to report on that front. Um, Alistair also suggested try chat, chat GPT and ask the question, like, what else could it be doing to find investors for my company? See if there's anything it can think of. And so in three seconds, it'll come up with an answer. And lo and hold, it did. Came up with six good points. And I tried all of them to one degree or another. Um, just... Um, uh, there's one aspect that maybe I, I thought maybe I could try that a bit more. So I'm going to try that. Investor groups that uh, do arts and entertainment. Looking at them more. And pose it back to Alistair. Maybe he could be, he could chat with them. and you know, Because business people generally only chat with other business people. If they know you're a newbie, they're just like, oh, I don't have time for this. You know, it's all about time. Time is money. So you want to be chatting with people who are on the same level with you or above you so you can learn from them. You don't want to be um, in playing catch up with kids, right, who are just getting into it. You want people who uh, to do business with people who have experience. So I understand that. Um, but um, So that's why I'm thinking Alistair might be able to make an introduction for me. So hopefully that goes. Or I'll try and see what else just says. Then I'll, I'll try to reach out to them myself again. See if anything goes. It's usually these investor groups that make you go through this, you know, this um, selection process online. A lot of them, and uh, you know, and they have, you know, certain things they want from you. And anyways, it's it's challenging. It's disappointing. You do a lot of work, and then you end up. No, nothing comes from it so it's but you got to do it you got to do it and chat gbt said that so it must be right said it takes time don't get discouraged it's like wow our new ai overlords are so woke are so so gentle and kind to us poor vulnerable humans <laughs> let's give them every all of our freedoms away let's do that that's a good idea anyways guys hope you're doing well and um yeah yeah, our, our world is not what it seems. 
for what has not seemed. And people are starting to see through that, through the curtains. The veil has been lifted, folks. The veil has been lifted. So um, breathe in. Take a deep breath in. And through your nose. And just breathe out. And just accept. Observe. We'll see what is. And not what you want it to be. But see what it is. And just reflect on it. And just let the thoughts flow. Don't try to control the narrative. Let it, the truth be known to you. And follow it. And act accordingly. If you see this system as evil, don't comply. Don't, you know. So this new conspiracy theorist is 15-minute city, but they say it themselves. They say what it's all about. So it's not conspiracy theory. It's conspiracy fact. That they, you know, it's... Uh, psychological operations trying to you know call white black and black white so it's you know you have to be wary um, governments have done this to their people in the past the ruling parties have done this to their people many times in the past so uh, it's not the first time democide has occurred so beware just beware you know shit's going down we're making history now this is going to be talked about for a long time, for thousands of years, this is like the fall of Rome, and this is like the, if we survive, it'll be the rebirth of humanity, when humanity finally freed its shackles, maybe three billion people die in the process, but that's life, right, can't, can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs, the veil is lifting, take care guys.